Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue, Burning Dog fans. We now pick up right where we left off. Let's go kill this nun and call it a day. You there! Greetings, corrupted nun! Who dares disturb my inner chamber? Lady, your inner chamber ain't been disturbed in a long time. Probably why you became a nun. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am Deathspank, and I'll be your divine retribution for today. I am Mother Mary Josephine Teresa. Henrietta Maria Catalina Alexandra. Melina, Georgina, Patricia, Lolita, Armada, Ramada, Piranha, Gonorrhea, Margarita, Signorita, Ballerina, Bacteria, Cafeteria, etc., etc. I'm just gonna call you Judy. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, and there's the timer. Your lack of a panty line suggests you are wearing a thong. I bear the thong of compassion, and with it, I gained the power to heal. Okay, sorry about that. I need to do adjust something. You stand in the way of justice, and I am your judge, Judy. I don't expect a heathen like you to understand the work I do here. The gods have seen me fit to carry out their holy and compassionate will. And that's exactly what I intend to do. No matter what. Even by none standards, Judy, you're crazy! What's so crazy about wanting to make the world a better place? I'm going to heal the world, Deathspank. I'm going to make it pure again. Heal the world? But you are hurting innocent people! I don't hurt innocent people. So if I'm hurting them, they're not innocent. I want to mention that we have actually no evidence of that. Nobody ever comes back. And this room is filled with bones. We don't actually know that she's killing them. They might just be these monks around her. Maybe she's brainwashing them into being her servants, and I've been killing them. What are you doing in this inner chamber? It is here that I control the gods. Oh Child. yeah, that would do it. Once I learned their inner secrets, they were easy to manipulate. They helped me purge the wounded of sin and evil. Isn't a thong inappropriate attire for a nun? It was my reward for a pious and devoted life. I have been chosen to end all suffering and pain. But it is not enough. This war is a cancer my powers cannot heal. But once I unite the thongs, all the thongs, I will have the power to stop this war. Oh? And how do you expect to do that? Simple. I will kill everyone. No people, no war. Only peace. And there it is. You know the locations of all the thongs? Oh, sure. All but one are accounted for. One of the thongs is missing? <laughs> no matter. Sooner or later, I'll have all the thongs. Starting with yours. What are you doing to the wounded troops? I'm healing them. Oh. You mean except for the ones you kill, right? Of course. Only the worthy will find salvation. And then, I send the saved back out to the battle. Without their guns, of course. Why would you want guns? For my army of the righteous! I've stationed training camps throughout the world, where my monk soldiers are preparing. Preparing for what? Once we are ready, we will capture the thongs by force! Yeah, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good now. Prepare to meet your gods in the afterlife. Definitely evil. You may find that difficult, child. My gods are right here.
Why didn't I see this coming? I am the great goddess Beatrice, most beautiful of all the gods. So, prove your devotion to me. I ask you now, how perfect is my nose? <laughs> it's all right, I suppose. Perfect as the rising sun. You dare compare me to a mere ball of fire? That's not what you wanted to hear. Feel my wrath. Oh, my weapons! Ah! Uh. No. Okay, that is a problem. Oh, hey, I got them all back. Oh, unfortunate. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Wait, her first name was Mary, not Maria. Maria was on the second page of names. I just put a bunch of landmines down right here. Greetings once more, corrupted I mean, nun. Cry. It's time for another nunfrontation. Beatrice, most beautiful of all the gods. So, prove your devotion to me. I ask you now, how perfect is my nose? <laughs> Whoa, I thought that was an udder. Or some other milk excreting organ. Foolish lout, you have sealed your doom. Okay, she can do that anyway. Suck it, Beatrice! I am the great goddess Lucy, goddess of charity and generosity. Prove your humble and giving heart. What is that behind me? Well, that's a lie. Through my generous heart. Uh, let's fuck it. Let's see what happens if I lie. I give all that I have to the downtrodden. I even give them things that don't belong to me. I honor your generosity, generous hero. Oh. Well, Beatrice is dead to begin with, so it probably works out. And the great goddess Susan. Tell me this. What is the sweetest sound in all the world? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh! From the story that which makes flowers bloom and birds sing. That which makes flowers bloom and birds sing. But that's me! You don't say. I had no prior knowledge at all. Just thought that answer up now. Bless you, Death Spank. Now we're talking. I am the great god Albert, the superhumanly powerful. Answer the question or suffer my wrath. What is the heaviest thing there is? Don't tell me! I got this. It's the Earth! Yes! The last thing you ever lifted. Wrong! Oh, wait! No, no, no! You were right! The Earth was wicked heavy! <laughs> oh, Jesus. I am the great god. Walter the Clairvoyant. I understand how others live. 
prove your worthiness, or I will make you see. I think you're trying to trick me. If I answer correctly, you will attack. If I answer wrong, you will let me pass. Yes, but today is opposite day. Uh, no, it's not. I mean, yes, it is. Damn it. Oh. Oh, hell. Oh, no, they, they put them back. It put them back. It was weird. What's this? Executioner sword. Normally, it'd have to be in the Union, but they made an exception. Oh, I, I used up on machine gun ammo. That's why that one is empty. Ha! Oh, would you look at that? And it doesn't look uh, like that. Oh, yes! Yes, please! Uh, sure. Wait, what? It's scrambling all my items around! Where's my healing item? No shit! Oh hell. Let's do this! What? Ah, oh, hell! Now she's doing it! I just used up fucking all- uh. All those potions went down the t fucking toilet because of that. Great! Suck it! God damn it. How dare you. How very dare you. Thank you, Death Spank. Damn it. In the name of compassion, I put you out of your misery. Thanks, Deathspank. I need you to deliver another package for me. You know, you really should invest in some kind of a courier service. Take this to the Sheriff of Strumfuckle. It's urgent. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Thank you. As another dead thong wearer lay before our hero, the eloquent red-haired woman shows up to remove the corrupt thong. Sorry to Beatrice and Walter. Since, uh... 
I recognized the one of the lines of Beatrice as a reference to the story. I just didn't realize they wanted me to say it. The one about uh, nine years wouldn't be enough to capture your nose's beauty. Fuck. God! Well, that was a delightful comedy of errors! Sweet mercy. Rest in peace to the nice nun that uh, Mother Mary once was. Mother Maria, or whatever her name was. All those names. Our gentle and pious Mother Superior created this heavenly sanctuary. Our gentle and pious Mother Superior... Still feeling uncomfortable, gentlemen? You would too if you had to wear these robes all day. All right, let's just say it because this place is kind of going out of business soon anyway. There's no need to be so uptight about nudity. Well, you know, the gods and goddesses made you that way. So what's the big deal? Exactly my point. We're recommuning with nature. That is a valid point. But I still do feel a strong sense of discomfort with the idea. You could invent the swimsuit. Is swimming really less comfortable than just standing here? What do you mean? Think of it this way. Would you rather feel the cool, pleasant embrace of water all around you? Or would you rather stand out here in the scorching sun in those heavy robes? Well... You are starting to smell somewhat offensive. Fine. I'll go, I'll go. Last one in is a logical thinker. I guess that'll be me, then. I think I had a camera. This is a tourist. This is the statue of Walter, who uh -huh. they saw, that is, until they began stories failing to realize that the villain and Walter, so he braced the villain, spent the... Okay, uh, no, I have no idea what they wanted me to say there. And going by Death Spank's, uh, Death Spank, Death Spank's, Death Spank's response, I don't think, uh, I could have avoided that fight with Walter. Hey! That's awesome! Wait, shit, was that a Mark 7? I thought there were no Mark 7s around here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Stupid barrels! I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of how little I care. Wait! I remember this time. Western Gate Key, a key for unlocking the gate to the west. Package for the sheriff. This package looks exactly like all the other packages I've had to deliver so far. It's against the law to open other people's mail. It's too late! I've escaped! Oh, it is a haunted farm. Screenshot of that. Send it to one of my friends out of context. Greetings, attractive female. I am Deathspank, 
You look so strong and powerful. Please help me, Death Spank. We were headed west when a group of the awful White Rock Bandito gang took my beloved hats. Then those banditos will face justice with a capital J. Make it two. I do declare, I swoon with anticipation, Mr. Death Spank. Greetings, stagecoach driver. Oh, finally some help. Me and that little lady were attacked by outlaw banditos. Ha! Ah, why aren't there ever law-abiding banditos? Take this message to the sheriff and Strumpfuckle right away. Deliver your message, I will. Victimized stagecoach driver. <laughs> Death Spike, thank you for progressing the conversation. Uh, it's what I do. Those dirty white rock banditos done took the mailbags. I'll be in what? a heap of trouble less than I get them back. Fear not, amusingly accented men. I will retrieve your mailbags. Okay, two quests in one conversation. This guy is nothing if not efficient. I haven't found a single gold treasure chest now that I think about it. Is that one up there? No, it's got an explosive logo on it. That's a bomb. And there's the timer. Almost there. You're almost at the town of Strumfuckle. And blockade notice no stage coaches beyond this point. The white banditas will charge a road levy on all coaches attempting to pass. Um, well, I guess that'll about do it. I mean, fair enough. And look, I can see the Spelunker up there. An unusual wristwatch does everything but keep time. Let's see, plus 20 and 3% ice, plus 15 and 3% nature, plus 30 and 5% on death. Okay. Wait, which one is lower? Uh, right. Molten Warfare Chest! I thought that was a glove, actually. Forged in a volcano using lava from a different volcano. Now we're talking. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue, and we explore this new area, kill some cowboy ghosts, and, uh, hopefully make our way to the town of Strumfuckle. Later!